What's going on, everybody? This is Josh's DH, and I am back in a game. I know it's been so long. I am uh, recording this video, uh, checking out Colony Survival. So we'll jump in, and I'll kind of explain as we go. Um, we're going to need a new world. We're going to call it uh, YouTube. YouTube. And it's going to be a single player. Uh, we are going to spawn monsters, and just to make it interesting, uh, we'll double the monster spawn amount. We can also set it up to spawn monsters during the daytime. Uh, I don't want to do that at this point, but maybe in the future, if I keep playing this game, we'll check it out. But now we have the world, we'll hit play, and it's going to drop us into a world. And here we are. Um, it opens up kind of like the manual, and it tells you how to play. We will talk about it as we go. I'm just going to close it for now and see what we got. So first thoughts, you're probably thinking, hey, look, it's Minecraft with fewer textures. It's not. Uh, it'll feel like that initially for sure. Uh, there's no doubt about it. Uh, but really, it's more of a colony sim, colony management type game. Um, it's pretty cool. I actually really enjoy it so far, and I've only played a little bit, and so I'm excited to see a lot of the stuff I haven't even delved into yet, including eventually online play. Uh, so what I'm looking for now is, as you can see, we got this beautiful area, we got trees, you can hear the birds. And what I'm looking for is some water. I like to build near water. Um, I don't know if there's a, a reason to at this point. Uh, whoop, you can hear Jess in the background. I don't know if there's a reason to at this point. I just like the look of it, even though it does tend to be kind of blinding white. Um, it does have lots of like bloom effects and stuff that I don't normally keep on, but I left it all as is for now, just so you can kind of see what it looks like. I may turn those off in future episodes if it gets too annoying. So I'm wondering, there is no mini-map that I'm aware of, and if there is, let me know in the comments. But I th normally I could find water if I just kind of wander in one direction. Uh, don't go up. Maybe over here. If I don't, I still may build here because it's a nice big open area to eventually have a giant colony in. So if I don't see a lake in the next few seconds here, we'll go ahead and get started. So let's talk about this game and kind of how to play. Um, basically, what we have here is uh, some items in our hotbar, and those are items we can access. But if we open our inventory here, this is our stockpile. This is what our colonists, once we get them, can access. And so when we craft things, we can only craft things for items we're holding, not what's in our stockpile. So if I drop these wood planks back into my stockpile, you'll now notice I can't make all that stuff I could have made before. And we'll throw some straw back in our stockpile. We'll throw some dirt back into our stockpile for now. We don't need it. So crafting, there's lots of things to craft right now, and we can do all sorts of stuff with it. But really, this game isn't about me crafting. It's about getting colonists. And see up here in the corner, I have zero colonists, zero beds, zero unemployed. So what we need to do is kind of get started. And to do that, what I'm actually going to do is start building a little bit of a base before we summon any colonists. And so this is where it'll feel a little Minecrafty. But basically, the monsters won't show up until night, and they're not going to show up until I have colonists. And they're proportional to the number of colonists I have. So the more I summon to help me run my colony, uh, or manage my colony, I'll be running it, thank you very much. The more I summon, the more monsters we'll get. So we'll drop it here. Uh, and basically what we need to do is we need to drop down our banner tool. And so we gotta figure out where we want to put it. We'll make the center of our colony right here. Now what's important about the banner tool is it is the center of your colony in the sense that it's uh, limiting where monsters can spawn. They spawn I think 75 away. And um, so if you don't have that area safe then your mobs can spawn right on top of your colonists and mobs will touch the colonists and instantly kill them the colonists aren't cheap we'll talk about that in a second um, so we're gonna put it here and we have to defend it the other thing is you always have to leave a way in uh, I don't want to remove that move uh, do not remove it. I just want to do I don't want to make that either right now there you go I just want to remove underneath uh, see that might cause me some trouble I don't know if that's going to or not I've never gotten that warning before Let's put that back. All right, so what I'm doing now is I'm just digging out um, some different areas, uh, just a little floor, little floorboards. And I think we could dig out like a nine by nine. So that's three by three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And so I'm just gonna put a, a floor down, a nine by nine floor. So I'm gonna end up using, you know, 81 of my wood and that's okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. So now I know where I need to go and shouldn't go too far. So I'll come over here. Beautiful. And let's just get that all down. Um, so, but anyway, you have to leave a way into uh, your base. You have to let your flag stay 
uh, attackable. Because if you don't, it enters something called, uh, what's the mode called? Horde mode, I think, or siege mode. Um, and when that happens, you use up food a lot faster, and that's just bad news bears, because food is what really drives everything. So, okay, boom, 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 and let's get that. So I'm gonna let the, this first night will come. I'm not worried about it, no mobs will come. I have no colonists yet. So the nice thing is you can kind of get your first base going before you even have to worry about it. Um, and this is really the only time you have to do this much um, crafting early on. Now you are gonna build your structures. I don't know that they will build structures for you. Um, so there is still some of that component. If you hate building bases in general, then this may not be your cup of tea, um, but I think it's a lot of fun. So we have to make sure we leave a way into the base. So we, you know, there are no doors yet, and the game is uh, early access. And whoops, also the button just hit there. Sorry. Uh, the game is early access, and so there's ch changes about every two weeks so far. It looks like looking at some of the change logs. There we go. Okay, so nice, beautiful base. Hooray! Uh, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put our walls up. And I don't really need to skimp on resources, I'm just saving them for right now. And I'm just going to do this. And remember, I said you have to leave a way in. I can pick up the... Once I decide where I'm going to put everything, I can pick up some walls. So that's the idea of it. Um, so I'll put beds down in here. This is where my colonists will hang out and, and be safe. Now, I am going to put windows up, though. So this way I can see the mobs coming if I want to. They can't climb through the windows. It needs to be a too high right now. Again, you never know. Things could change. Um, but there we go. And I just need to grab some more stone. Oh, I'm out of stone, so we'll have to go mining. Not worried about that. So as night's coming down, let's try to do some base planning while we're looking at this. So we have lots of open area to the sides. A little bit here. So I think this will be my entrance. Because uh, I can build kind of my... Well, you'll see. I can build my entrance here. And so we're going to have the mobs come in here. Um... And I'll have farms in the back, because I'll wall those in and give a door for my my folks to use in the back here. They can go out here to get to their farms. So there we go. Okay. Uh, just for now, because we have the torches, let's put some down. That's the back area. So this is the area we're going to farm. So, farming. We have this thing called the command tool. And when we left click, we have different types of farms we can put down. Wheat, berry, forest, and flax. So berries are good early on. Uh, berries are what's going to get you uh, some just initial food. And you'll place an area. And then as you hire uh, colonists, they're going to jump into jobs. I think it's in the order you create the jobs. So this berry farm is going to be the first thing a colonist is going to do. So we'll start a berry farm. Let's see if this is our door. Maybe we'll start it over like two off and two off. We'll start it here. And we'll pick our berry farm and we'll right click and we'll just make it, you know, we drag it out to the size it needs to be. Now let's do a five by five berry farm. Too small, so let's try a six by six. There we go. And then click. Oh, nope. One thing I will say, I do need to get better with the... Uh... There we go, right click, there we go. So you can see no unemployed colonists. But when the colonists come, what they're gonna do is they're gonna pull berries out of my berry seeds here, and then they're going to drop them in the berry farm. The other thing I am gonna want early on is a wheat farm. Now that takes longer. That takes some good time to grow. And so we do want to get that going. No, I don't want berry farm, I want wheat farm. So switch to wheat farm. And wheat farm, I'm just gonna do a big 10 by 10. And you may hear some fireworks in the background. Guess what night I'm recording this video. So now we have wheat farm and we have two unemployed. Now, because of that, oh, where'd my berry farm go? Oh, now I can see, okay. Uh, because of that, what I need to do is add a fence. I'm gonna put my fence here. I just want to make sure I clear the berry farm. I don't want to leave two to walk past it. Okay. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fence out to here. And because where you have the wheat farm, which is a 10 by 10, that's also going to dictate this side. And luckily the wheat farm drops on dirt. So now I can definitely see where how far I need to go out. One, two. Makes it a lot easier to switch back and forth to the tools. Perfect. Okay. come here and again I don't need to make the walls as big but this is just my early start you know they have like a keep with some farms in it oops now the mobs can jump up one high bricks 
So they could clear this fence quite easily right now. So what are we going to do about that? We're just going to take the dirt out. So now the mobs can't clear that. And really, I'm doing this kind of setup before we have any colonists. And really just get through the first night. Because it has to get done. And this way, um, you can kind of see how it works without any risk to my colony. So it is manual. And it's manual starting off. But after this, we can start having them auto-craft things, auto-collect food. Uh, they can be the guards. And so we can set up guards once we have enough colonists and kind of hang out there. And you can see the sun starting to rise as I clear off the area around my fence. And I'm actually going to go all the way around my 9x9 here. Just to make my wall. Now my wall is actually too high. There we go. I'm going to leave this one, because remember, you have to leave a way in. If you don't, then um, bad stuff happens to your food supply. And you start off with 300 food, as you can see. Beautiful. Okay. So now the wall is too high, so mobs can't get through the walls. The only way they can come in is right here. And so what we can do to fix that problem, is we can just come out a little bit. And I'll work on that a little bit more, but let's get some colonists. Well, colonists need a place to sleep, right? So that kind of makes sense. So we need to craft a bed. Now you'll see here's the... Oh, wait, you don't see the bed. Why? Because I'm not holding the straw. So again, you have to hold the straw. There we go. Um, in order to craft anything. So I'm going to put these saplings back and put these wheat seeds back. Put these torches here, grab some straw. I'm just going to make a bunch of beds right now because we're going to have them. So make, you know, we'll have these columns eventually. Let's make, I guess, uh, nine beds for now, since I just made them. Okay. So we'll put them down. And you have this little tool that tells you where the foot of the bed will be. So I want to rotate so the foot of the bed's facing me. And face me that way. There we go. And we'll put these beds down here, and I'll put that last bed in the stockpile for now, because we're not going to have... It's going to be a while before we have that many foot... Oh, I just made another bed. That's one thing you have to watch out for. It becomes very easy just to make things if you click incorrectly. Okay. So now we've done that, we can hire some colonists. So we'll come over to our command to our, our banner and we'll click on it. No, I don't want to remove it. Right click on it. And I want to recruit a colonist. You can see what it costs. Five per day and a bed and 50 food units. Well, I have 300. So we're going to create two. And then we're going to stop because we don't want to mess things. Now you see their shirts change colors and they started walking off to places. This one's going to be our berry farmer. He is automatically starting to plant seeds from the berry farm. And so you can see 33, 32. This one's doing our wheat farming. Now, wheat's going to take a few days to mature. And so once it matures, he will harvest it as well. Doesn't do much else with it. It's just going to hang out. But now I have my farmers starting on my colony. I have officially started a colony. So what else do I want to have in my colony? Well, I'm going to want a mine shaft. And so what I'm going to do is build one right here in this corner. This is where I have to do a lot of digging, and it'll be kind of, you know, digging fun, boring time, um, to be perfectly honest. So what we'll do is we'll just indicate our mine shaft starts here. And we're going to go down. And down we go. And so let's see here. I must make sure I'm going to clear it. Beautiful. Okay. It's going to be a little dark. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop recording. I'm going to dig the mine shaft down, and then once I get down to the bedrock, I'll explain how mining is going to work. We'll be right back. All right, we're back in the game. Uh, it's still the same day. All the sun's getting ready to go down soon. And I made it to bedrock. But I want to show you this. So he is waiting to get some berries, it looks like. Let's see if we have any berries in here. So yeah, he's harvesting berries, which is giving us some early food, which is excellent. Over here, he's just hanging out, waiting for the wheat to grow. Since there's none to plant, none to grow, he's done. That's all he's going to do now, um, really forever. That's, that's his job now. Uh, also, in my mining process, I picked up a bunch more stone. So I can finish working on that for a little bit here. Let's at least just finish this so we know that it's hanging. You see, I don't know how I feel about bloom effects and all that jazz. I mean, I know some people find it really pretty. Um, I don't know. Tell me what you think in the comments if I should turn it off or not. I'm going to record a few of these episodes in a row. So, you know, it may. If you tell me, oh, I hate it, turn it off. It may be a while. I also know field of view matters to some folks. Um, I just left it the default. Remember, got to leave an entrance in. Um, otherwise, you get in trouble. Um, now, if they're down here, they can jump up. So, the next thing I need to do is this. At least on the front wall here, we're going to 
make this too deep real quick. And then a way out for me. In case I fall in, which inevitably I will. All right, so. What that's gonna do, that's gonna force all mobs to come to this point. It's gonna be important when I'm defending. Cause I'm gonna make myself a bow. I'm gonna put all this stuff back in the stockpile cause I don't need it right now. And I'm gonna make myself some arrow, or grab some arrows, which I have a ton. Perfect. Okay. So as night comes, oh, I need some more of that actually. I do like the stockpile for me is free floating. Now for our um, berry farmer, and he has to come over to, I believe, the flag. All right, so now they're both in bed. They've gone to sleep. Their day is done, which means monsters could come out. Now I don't know if monsters come out for two or if it requires three colonists. So we'll keep an eye out. We'll see some glowing eyed zombies if they're gonna come. If we let them get into our base, remember I was making sure I dug it too deep, I did. Um, and they touch our colonists, instant death. Let's come over here. Let's put some torches on the grounds out here. Um, I'm going to have a very fun kind of uh, squiggly world entrance into our world eventually. So let's drop some torches for now. And I'm not seeing any. Oh, yes, there we go. There's a, there's a zombie out there. So let's go visit him. I don't see any others that are sneak up while I'm over there. So you have a health bar too. You can see that 100% down the corner. Up oh, here comes the zombies. I'm glad I looked back. So he can't get into my base. He will come after me. But what they're doing is they're pathfinding their way to this flag. And if I don't have a way, you'll see I'll get a warning if food starts appearing. So let's just show you what that looks like if I do this. A warning should pop up eventually. And I'll start using my food. It does take a while for the zombies to realize they can't get in. So let's see what he does when he gets over here. And I'll say, siege mode entered. Actually, he's going to just attack me, so I need to shoot him. We'll worry about siege mode later. <laughs> um, mostly because I didn't want to die. But once they figure, actually here, we'll just do this. Once they figure out they can't get in, I'll go to siege mode. And I'll start using basically six times as much food. Now, remember, I set it to double zombies. Um, so it's not too hard your first few nights as long as you don't get a ton of colonists. And things will work out pretty well. Uh, I'm, I am waiting for the siege mode to kick on. I don't know if there's an update. Is he chasing me right Yeah, he's coming after me right now. Um, I need to get him to forget about me and go towards the colony. And I need to go back to my bow and arrow. Okay, so once he can't, yeah, there we go. Banner's disconnected to the world, siege mode. There we go. Siege mode's over, cause I open that block. So once the zombies realize they can't get to your banner, all sorts of heck breaks loose. Um, so that's why these first few nights I'll play defense. But it's a colony sim, right? So one of the things I can do is I can actually have a colonist take care of this for me. So let's do that real quick. We'll come click the banner, recruit a colonist. He's going to go to sleep until I make, where is it? I need some planks in my inventory. There we go. I'm going to make him a quiver. And another bow, which we'll put in here because all colonists need a bow. And I'm going to put that quiver right there. Now he's going to wake up and he's going to become a guard. He will now shoot zombies. Which is great. See? I now have a guard. And my guard is taking care of the zombies. And it's based on where I dropped that quiver. So when I want to move him, I can do that. If I want to give him another job to do, then I can just pick up the quiver. That'll destroy that job, and he'll move on to whatever the next job I drop. Um, and so when I said tower defense, what I can set up here is like a hedge maze that only gives you one path in, and then it forces the zombies just to walk by and then set up a bunch of guards that will just pick them off. I can even put the guards up on like towers and stuff. Um, so that way they have to, uh, they can go up there and get to different locations. Once daylight hits, all the zombies die and we move into our next day. Our guard will stand guard always. I guess he doesn't really sleep. Good for you, guard. Good for you. 
But if I needed to give him another job, I totally could. So that's going to be the first episode, kind of the introduction. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments if you want to see more of this. The other cool thing about it is it is multiplayer. Now you each kind of run your own colony, but you run them next to each other so you can kind of set up gauntlets together, um, which is nice because you can kind of share that guard duty. And I think that would make it interesting. Uh, hopefully you enjoy. I am excited to play this game and bring more to you in the future. So thanks so much for watching. And as always, I guess it still applies. Keep on digging or, or managing or, you know, whatever you want to do. You do you. Thanks again. We'll see you all next time.